Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how I created this Shopify website. This is a minimal white and black Shopify website. This website is optimized to look amazing on desktop and mobile. So without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is open up Shopify and I'm just gonna click on online store and then I'm gonna click theme. Once you scroll down, you're gonna see all of their templates that they have. So I'm just gonna click add for the Dawn theme and this is gonna be the base for our website. So once that theme has installed, we're just gonna click customize. So here is the base for our website. The first thing I'm gonna do is click on the header and then right here under desktop logo position, I'm gonna select top center. This way our logo will be centered. To apply your logo, I'm just gonna click theme setting. I'm gonna click logo and then right here, you'll be able to upload your logo and your favicon image. So it will give you the option to select your logo straight from your computer. Make sure your logo is in a transparent PNG format. So as you can see, the logo is pretty small. So if you want to increase the size, right under desktop logo width, I'm just gonna increase the width of the logo. Next, I'm gonna show you how to edit the announcement bar. So when you click on the announcement bar, right under color scheme, it will give you the option to select a different color scheme. So I'm just gonna select color scheme four because this has a black background. And when you go here to color scheme four and you select background, you'll be able to change the color to whichever one you would like. And right under text, you'll be able to change the text color as well. So I'm just gonna click on the announcement bar text and you can go ahead and type in whatever text you would like it to say. Once you're finished, this is how it is going to look. So as you can see, there is currently a sticky header on the shop. So this is gonna pop up when people scroll back up on your shop. If you would like to remove that, you're just gonna click on the header and right under sticky header, I'm just gonna select none. Next, I'm gonna show you how to create the image banner. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on the image banner here, and then I'm just gonna turn the image overlay opacity to zero. This way our image banner will show up fully opaque. I'm gonna click on this text box, and then I'm just gonna click remove block. I'm gonna click on the button label, and then I'm just gonna remove the outline button style. So currently the button label is white, so to change this to black, I'm just going to scroll down here, and then I'm just gonna select color scheme one. If we go here to color scheme one, as you can see, the solid button background is black and then the text is white. If you'd like to change this to a different color, you're just gonna click solid button background and you'll be able to change it to whichever color you would like. All right, so I've just opened up Canva and I've opened up a web banner template. I'm gonna go ahead and put my dimensions on the screen for this. And this is gonna be our template for the image banners. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on element and then I'm just gonna scroll down to the frame and the grid. So I'm just gonna apply just the main grid and I'm gonna adjust this to about the size that I want. So I'm gonna do a little vertical image right in the center. I'm going to duplicate this and then I'm just gonna put a smaller version on each side. Once you're finished with that, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the pictures that I'm gonna add. So you're just gonna click upload files and then you'll be able to just upload your files straight from your computer. To add them to your canvas, you're just gonna want to basically drag and drop straight into these grids. And then when you double click, you'll be able to crop the image as you would like. And I'm just gonna repeat that for the rest of the pictures. Next, I'm gonna show you how to create the text overlay. So I'm just gonna go back here to elements and then right under the shapes, I'm just gonna upload a regular square shape. You're gonna change this to the color white and then I'm just going to adjust it and center it. Next, you're gonna click this little transparency icon and then I'm just gonna reduce the transparency. And you can leave it fully opaque if you would like. I'm gonna click text and then I'm gonna upload one of these text styles. When you click on the font, you can just select whichever font you would like to apply. I'm just gonna apply the font Beautifully Delicious. And then I'm just gonna center it with this text box. Next, I'm gonna apply another text box. I'm going to apply the font Brown Sugar. And then I'm gonna duplicate this text box and then create a smaller text right below it. All right, and once you're finished with that, we can go ahead and download this web banner. I'm just gonna click Share and then I'm gonna click Download. All right, so I'm back here on Shopify and I'm just gonna click on the image banner. I'm gonna click select image and then I'm just gonna upload that image straight from my computer. And then once you've uploaded the image, right under banner height, I'm gonna select medium. All right, and so far here is how our website is going to look. 
So next, I'm going to show you how to add your featured collection list. So really quickly, if you don't know what a product collection is on Shopify, it is just a collection of products that you decided to put together. So right in between these sections, I'm going to click add section and then I'm just going to apply a collection list. So I want about four collections to display, so I'm just going to increase the numbers to four. And then right under heading, you'll be able to type in whatever you would like to title this section. So really quickly, I would like to change this text to a sheriff font. So I'm just going to go here to theme settings. I'm going to click typography and then right here for the main font, I'm just going to change it to a sheriff font. And then once you click on a collection, you'll be able to select the collection that you would like to upload. Alright, and once you're finished with that, here is how this section will look. So now I'm going to show you how I created the About Us section. So first I'm just going to click Add Section, and then I'm going to select Image Banner. First I'm going to set the banner height to small. And then right here for the container, I'm just going to remove the container on desktop. And then I'm going to remove the container on mobile as well. When you click on these two button labels, you'll be able to remove one of them. Next, you can go ahead and type in your text. Now I'm going to show you how to add the white silk background. Alright, so I'm back here on the Canva and I'm on the same web banner template. I'm just going to click add page. And then right here on the elements section, I'm just going to search for white silk. And then you can just select and upload one of the images that you would like to add. Then I'm just going to download this in a PNG format. And then you can go ahead and upload that image. To add the fixed background movement, I'm just going to scroll down. And then right here under image behavior, I'm just going to select fixed background position. And that is how I completed the about us section. Next, I'm going to show you how I created the shop qualities section. So right in between these two sections, I'm just going to apply multi-column. I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to remove this button label. For the column alignment, I'm going to set it to center. And right under heading, I'm just going to remove this heading bar. Next, you can go ahead and just insert the text that you want to add into these columns. So to create the icon, I'm just back here on Canva. I'm going to use the same web banner template that we're on. I'm just going to click add page. Next, I'm just going to search for the icon that I'm looking for here under element. So I'm just going to add some kind of wardrobe icon. Then I'm just going to add another page and then I'm going to add another icon. And then I'm going to add one last icon. And when you do this, you want to make sure that your background color is going to match the section background color that you have here on Shopify. Next, you're just going to select these pages and then you're going to download these in a PNG format. I'm back here on Shopify and I'm just going to click on one of these columns and then I'm going to click select image. And then one by one, you can go ahead and upload each of those icons. Right here under image width, I'm going to change it to half width of column. That way the icons appear smaller. And that is how I created the shop icon section. Also, just a heads up, this Shopify website template is currently available on my store. It is a full done for you Shopify website template. It also includes all of the Canva templates that you see me putting together. So you wouldn't have to do any of that from scratch. I will link that website template in my description box as well as a discount code that you guys can use. Now I'm going to show you how to add your featured product collection. So I'm just going to click add section and then I'm going to click featured collection. So right under heading, you can name your collection. I'm just going to set the color scheme to color scheme 2 and then I'm going to go here to color scheme 2 and I'm going to change the background. I want it to be like a really light gray color. And then right here under collection, you can select the collection that you would like to upload. All right, and once you're done, here is how the finished featured collection will look. So to add the customer feedback section, I'm just going to first select multi-column and then I'm going to increase the number of columns to 4. Then I'm going to remove the button label and then I'm going to title the heading. I'm going to center the text as well. So to add the stars, I'm just going to paste some of the star emojis. And then next you can go ahead and just type in your customer's review. And I would recommend putting the customer's name down here in bold. So I'm just using this text as an example. And once you're all done, here's how the finished customer feedback section will look. And you can even actually paste the link straight to the person's review or straight to the product that they left their review on. 
So to create the second image banner, I'm just going to click add section and then I'm going to apply image banner. First, I'm going to click on the button labels and I'm just going to remove the second button label. So I'm here on Canva and I'm going to show you how to put together the three grid image banner. So first I'm just going to add a page to the template that we're already on. I'm going to go here to elements and then I'm going to scroll down and then I'm just going to apply their three grid. I'm going to remove the line spacing. Next you're just going to drag and drop the pictures that you would like to add. Once you're finished, you're just going to want to download this in a PNG format. Next, here on Shopify, you're just going to upload that into the image banner section. Right here under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And that is how I created the second image banner. Alright, so to add the email sign up and the blog post section, I'm just going to first add a email sign up. And then you can alter the text however you would like. I'm going to go ahead and set this to color scheme 2. For the blog post section, I'm just going to first add multi row. And as you can see, about three rows are going to show up. So I'm just going to remove the third one. Next, you can type in the title of your blog post. As well as fill in those button labels. And right here under button link, you'll be able to paste the link straight to your blog post. Once you're finished, you can just go ahead and upload a picture for the cover of the blog post. And that is how I created the blog post section. Next, I'm going to show you how to add the Instagram post section. So first, I'm just going to select multi column. I'm going to increase the columns to four. And right here under button label, you can just paste the link straight to your Instagram. Once you're finished, right here under heading and right under description, you can just put the caption from your Instagram post. And once you're finished with that, you can just go ahead and upload the Instagram post that you would like to feature. And that is how I created the Instagram post section. To add the next image banner, I'm just going to select image banner. And once again, I'm just going to remove the second button label. As well as insert my text. And then I'm going to select outline button style. Alright, so I'm back here on Canva and I'm just going to add a page to the same template that we're already on. And I'm just going to create another 3 grid and then I'm going to remove the line spacing. Then you can go ahead and upload the pictures that you would like to add. And then I'm going to download this as well. And then I'm just going to upload this right into the image banner. I'm also going to set the banner height to adapt to first image. And that is how I created the next image banner section. So for the let's connect section, I'm just going to first add an image banner slide and then I'm going to remove all of the text blocks and all of the button labels. I'm going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. Here on Canva, I'm just going to add a page to the current template that we're already on. I'm just going to go ahead and upload that same silk image. So I've searched for fade and I'm just going to upload a white faded image to create a little bit of a ombre effect. And then I'm just going to go ahead and upload the text that I would like to add. It's just going to say let's connect and then I'm going to add some social media icons as well. For the social media icons, you can just search for them right here above graphics and then you can just upload whichever one you would like to add. This font is authentic, this font is brown sugar, this font is glacial and different, and this is the font Alta. I'm going to download this in a PNG format and then I'm just going to upload this here into the image banner on Shopify. And I'm going to leave this banner height at medium. And that is how I created the Let's Connect section. Alright, and here is the finished Shopify website. And like I mentioned before, this template is currently available on my shop in case you guys just want to download my template. It includes all of the pre-made Canva templates as well, so you won't have to put those together from scratch. That will be linked in my description along with a discount code. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you're interested in some other Shopify design, please check out these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.